What up, what up, what's happening, it's your boy AD all day, what's good, what's happening y'all, I ain't been here talking a little second, but y'all know I'm here when I, um, today I'm drinking tea today, I ain't got no liquor, no coffee, I love to drink stuff while I talk, it don't matter if it's coffee, liquor, tea, whatever, I love to drink my little tea in the morning. But um, anyways, though, this video is going to be called Black People Do Not Follow These Fashion Trends or These Clothing Trends or These Trends, period. Because that's what I'm going to talk about, our fashion nowadays. And also, I'm going to throw a little World Series Game 7 talk at the end of this video. So if you just want to see the World Series talk, just go to the end of the video. But if you want to hear about these trends and what's really going on with black people about how they dress and what they need to stop really doing stick around um, but you know I ain't gonna try to make this video long try to make it as quick as I can right, I'm gonna start off with the women but basically I'm about to explain the new trends that you see now when it comes to clothing and hairstyles amongst black people that we need to stop doing or you need to be have an eye open for so you can understand what this really means Okay, I'm gonna start with the women. Okay, now let me get let me. Where can I start? Where can I start? Okay, let's start with this looking like a whole shit. Let's start with that, right? Like it's like it's like every time you cut on a TV show or every time you see an entertainer or that's a black female, they always try to make her look hoish and slutty. It ain't all the time, but majority of the time. Like, just go to shows like Real, you know, like Real Housewives and Real Basketball Wives of Atlanta. Go to Love and Hip Hop. You know, just go check out them shows. Just look at all the black women in the entertainment industry, period, and watch most of them come out looking thotty and uh, like thoughts, and people think that's cool. And when I say looking like thoughts, I mean coming out with tight ass fucking shirts, chest all fucking out. Tight ass fucking pants, ass all out and all that. You know, that's like the trend now for black women, which should not be a fucking trend. Y'all should not, like, going out with your titties all out and your ass all out thinking you cute is stupid. It's, it's, it's a dumbass trend. And that's why if you look on media and TV today, that's why they got y'all portrayed like that so much. Because them stars, they telling them what to wear and what to do. So y'all regular people go out there and go do it too, thinking that's how you be a star. That's how you get attention. Y'all believe in that fake ass world too much and then y'all start doing what them fake motherfuckers do and then y'all start getting bad things happening to y'all and y'all don't know why it's not happening because you need to stop dressing like a hoe. Don't no girl need to be out here with her motherfucking belly all out for no reason. I mean, you just go outside, girl got the damn belly all out, belly button all showing, and dumb niggas think that's cute. Dumb niggas be like, oh man, she hot, she sexy, but you in a normal public area and shit. Oh, that's hot. That's maybe at the gym or something. Maybe, right? But you, I mean, just literally just walking down the street, normal day, da, 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 you see a girl belly hanging all out. That is some disgusting thought shit. I'm letting you know right now, most girls that you see right now, if they got their stomach hanging out, they might be thotty as hell. They might be ratchet too. Because the way you dress represents who you are and how you feel about yourself. When you start dressing all thotty and hoish as a, as a female, that means you want attention. That means you, you, you want people to be on your jack, jock. For how you look, but not who you are as a person. And that's one of y'all women, y'all biggest problems. Y'all don't know how to get people to like y'all for who y'all are and not just y'all bodies. It's bad. And black women, I'm telling y'all, slow down. Slow down on dressing thotties. Slow down on having your titties all out. Stop that shit. Put them titties up. I mean, damn, man, we even got flat-chested girls out here be trying to do that shit just to just fit in, just so they can fit in. Stop it. Another thing, what's up with this new hairstyle trend for black women? Y'all need to quit this shit, too. Quit this short hair trend. I wish this shit would fucking end the day, okay? It don't make no damn sense how y'all hair is getting shorter, but men's hair is getting longer. That don't make sense. No fucking sense. Quit that shit, man. 
most dudes do not like short hair and i'm just keeping it real most men find that shit unattractive and i can't believe there's women out here that want to claim to be straight on top of that going around wearing the most shortest hairstyles i mean it's getting so bad now it's to the point where you will have one half of your head shaved off while the other half is long that's how bad it is now because these people are fucked up in the head that's why they'll dress like that. That's why they'll wear their hair like that. Half a head shade of the hair laid out. Get the fuck out of here, man. That is not cute. Amber Rose is not fucking cute. I know it might be a lot of people who might be like, what What you talking about? That You, you heard me, bro. I don't think that girl is cute. Why in the fuck would you? I can't believe there's men out here who really believe like Amber Rose is cute. How the fuck is she cute and the bitch got a fade? Like, how? I, I just don't get it. Got a whole fade. You were hit a, you basically fucking a nigga with some ass and titties. Because she got some fucking fade on the head. That ain't cute. That's not sexy. Sexiness is long hair. Beautiful hair. That's sexy. Not short fade. But I look like a thought still. So you like me. That's why they give Amber Rose all that props. Because they want black women to follow her. They want black women to be a thought like her and fucking look like her. And I'm telling y'all right now, y'all better not, man. Y'all crazy if y'all follow her. And y'all men is crazy for liking a woman like that. I can find a girl off the street look better than her ass. Fuck out of here. They always playing with y'all minds trying to make y'all believe what beauty really is and shit. Even though beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But at the same time, it's certain things that really are attractive and there's certain things that ain't. Stop that shit. Stop rocking that short hairstyle. Because I'm telling you, man, they're going to try to make that more and more frequent. With black women rocking shorter and shorter hairstyles. Fuck that shit. Rock your shit long. Alright, let's go to the men real quick. Uh, Cause these some new trends. Like stop that thigh trend. Stop that short hair shit. Stop that. That's that lesbian shit. Stop that shit. And for the men, let me start with y'all here. Now, man, now here's the biggest problem with men. It's like okay, okay, man. All right, y'all want to grow y'all hair out now and shit like that. But it ain't like back in the day when niggas had froze and shit. I mean, niggas been rocking braids and twists for a long time, right? But now it's starting to get a little too far, right? Like if you want, like me, like. I, I used to have a fade my whole life, and then eventually I was like, okay, I want something different, so I started growing my hair out, you know, but I don't do that extra shit. You see, first it was the braids and all this, now it's starting to become the twist and the dreads with all this extra shit a part of it. You know, they're trying to make women and the men, men and the women. They turning you men and the women by making y'all grow out y'all hair all along like women, making y'all dye y'all hair like women. I can't believe it's hella dudes out here running around with dye all in their hair. Half the hair be black, other half be red or orange or yellow or whatever. That's not manly, yo. Sitting in the mirror too long. It's not. If you want to grow your hair out, get some little twists, some regular braids, something, cool. But all that extra shit, not cool. And now it's getting so bad to the point they got the dudes doing that shit too. Shave the side, the side of your head. Shave the sides of your hair, but your hair is still long and sticking out. If that ain't no slavery looking shit, I don't know what's wrong with you niggas. Stop following these motherfucking superstars, y'all. Stop it, because that's where y'all get that shit from. And it's fucking aggravating, man. It's aggravating to hell to know that y'all niggas can't think for y'all selves. Y'all just follow. Y'all see these stupid-ass rappers and stars doing it, so y'all want to do it too. Not realizing that they selling y'all ass out. I mean, get the fuck out of here. We got dudes going around with shave heads and mohawks and shit. The fuck out of here. And then got the nerve to put dye in it. Oh, yeah, and another low-key thing. Rocking mohawks is low-key gay. Uh, yeah, I don't know if y'all know that or not. But it is. Mohawks are gay, especially on black people. And you got niggas out here rocking the shit like it's cool. Just like how niggas rock the skinny jeans and the tight ass shirts like it's cool. Like what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Y'all are not women. Don't y'all get they trying to make y'all more like women? Got y'all dressing with skinny ass jeans on. With designs in the back and your pants hanging down to your ass. Y'all is just some following ass niggas. That's how I look at it. Y'all some followers, though. Y'all don't even know what real shit is. That's why y'all following and hope to get attention like these bitches. Y'all need to calm the fuck down. 
I mean, man, when I was growing up, man, going to school, man, niggas would fucking heat your ass if you had on some uh, fucking tight-ass pants or if your pants was flooding or whatever. I mean, yeah, niggas did you sag a little bit back then, but now it's to the extreme now. Because at least back in the day when niggas did it, at least we had loose clothing on. Now we got tight clothing doing it now. Man, I ain't sagged my pants since I was in high school, man. That was like 10 years ago, 12 years ago. And I only did it because I thought it was cool. You know, I was back when I was stupid. Then you grow the fuck up and you realize, nigga, put your belt on, nigga. Nigga, you get in a fight, nigga, whoop your ass because your pants falling down. Nigga, just beat your ass. Pants falling down, you whooping your ass. You can't even run. You can't even run because your damn pants are tight. Anything can happen. What if you got to run? What if somebody get to shooting at you? What you going to do? You going, oh, shit, I'm, I'm froze. Oh, I'm stiff as a board. I can't move. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. Then you get, <laughs> then you get shot. <laughs> I mean, damn, man. Same thing with that gay shit. Back when I was growing up, man, niggas, boy, they found out you was gay, boy. You might get your ass whooped, or they might heat your ass. It ain't like that no more. What happened to us? Oh, that's right. They, the fucking media and the government brainwashed us. That's what happened. Like they always do. Stop following them. Stop rocking that shit, man. Stop rocking them. Oh, one more thing. Stop shaving y'all fucking heads, man. Stop it. Because that's the coon symbol. That's the symbol of a coon. Shave your head. If Now, I'm not hating on the men who are, because I understand a lot of us men do go through hair loss. So we got to, you know. Th that's another kind of reason I think men kind of do the mohawk thing a little bit, too. But don't be doing that shit unless you don't need to. For real, man. Because I, I, now that I think about it, some men might do the mohawk because, you know, your lining starts to fade, you know. But it's still gay. And you still shouldn't do it. I don't care. That shit gay. I'm telling y'all right now. Um. Oh, the bald head thing. Why every time we go on TV and look at the, a black dude, especially dark-skinned black men... They always got to be bald here. You haven't noticed that? Every time, especially if it's supposed to be a dude that's like a strong male black figure, bald head. Get on any talk show, any show, most of the time, if a dude come out bald head. And especially, you hear me? Especially if he's dark skinned. Y'all think I'm lying? Oh, another thing they like to do to us as black men is put pink shirts and purple shirts on us now. Make us look less, less masculine. And y'all niggas think that's cute. That pink trend was dumb as hell back when Cameron and them was out. And they trying to bring that stupid shit back. Stop doing that gay shit. They put blue on you for a reason when you a baby. Y'all coming out here rocking pink and shit. That shit gay. And y'all know it's gay. And they only put that shit on y'all. So y'all do it to feminize y'all men. Subliminally. Something else that people need to learn about. What a subliminal is. And how subliminals can really affect your thoughts. And how you react. Um, I'm just so tired of seeing bald head coon black men. And especially if they're strong figures. Like Terry Crews for instance. A very strong figure as a black man. But why they always emasculate him? Why they always got him acting gay? Why they always got him acting goofy? Why they always putting him dressing him in these freaking weird clothes? I mean, the first time we ever seen him in Next Friday, he was acting gay. It's called emasculation. And one of the main reasons why they make us black men shave our heads now and our mustaches to get on TV so we don't have our features. Wake up, y'all. Because your hair and your facial hair is your black feature. That's a feature of being black because our hair and shit is different than other races. So they want you to cut it all off. And notice how a lot of bald head people act like coons. Now, everybody, but I'm just keeping it real. Keep your eye out, because you know I ain't lying. Okay, I guess I'm done talking about trends and fashion. World Series talk, real quick. Now, I ain't going to make this real long, because um, this video is already getting long. But I'm going to make a review, I guess, of... Uh, uh, reaction video after the World Series might be up here tomorrow tonight depending on how I feel I know I'm be turned up but there y'all go we back in game seven these games obviously are all set up this is a shame man this is a shame man I even wanted to sell this hat I should have sold this damn hat 
man, I should have sold this hat because I probably would have made some damn money off this bitch at this point in time because, I mean, I don't give a fuck about this these sports like that, I just know what's gonna happen, like, I, I don't be absorbed into it, because I know it's just some theatrical bullshit, which enough of y'all should understand by now, man, it's a, it's a shame how many people be in them stands and don't realize it's all an act, yo, I mean, I knew the Cubs was gonna win game six, I knew they was gonna win game five, I knew it, that's how you set up thrills, you get seven games, that's more money, that's how you set up excitement, a thrill, it don't make no sense for the Cubs to be scoreless in so many games that all of a sudden, oh, they, they scoring nine points. Wake up, y'all. Wake up. It's all fake. Shit is not freaking real, man. Go Cubs, go my ass. I should have sold this bitch. I, I, that was a hat I had back when I was a goofy nut fan. I'm sad to see people falling for this shit. I'm sad. I'm sad, man. But here is the real big question. Now, I know in my other video I said Cubs was going to win. But I don't know, man. I don't know. I think I'm starting to flip it a little bit because I'm starting to think that they want to keep these Cubs fans in that stupid trance that they've been in for the past I don't know how many years. Because you got to be a dumbass fan to keep coming to these games watching a team that never win in a theatrical bullshit event. If they if that ain't called stealing your money, I don't know what what it is, y'all. Only on the problem is I, they might fuck around and give it to Cleveland just so you fans can get all geek for nothing and just to shut y'all dumbass fans down. Like oh oh y'all got all this money, you know y'all got all this uh, y'all got so far but still lost because this is the furthest you can get. You don't get no further in baseball than this, and that'd be fucked up if the Cubs lost today. I mean, I, I guess I'm going to throw out a prediction. I got a bad feeling about this, but I guess I'm going to go ahead and pick the Cubs, man. But I'll admit, I got a bad feeling about this, man. I, for some reason, after really thinking about this and seeing that it's Game 7, I'm like, hmm. I mean, you know this shit is fake. The Taco Bell shit, wake up. This is a fucking theatric. It's so funny. They knew this damn game was going to go Game 7 on November, on November 2nd. They knew this. Trust me, y'all. The people that run the sports, you know, the owners, you know, the people that actually control the games and not the little weak slave players on the field. Because when y'all watch those games, all y'all doing is watching slaves. <laughs> Don't y'all get it? But um, high paid ones, just like the celebrities, high paid slaves. We're slaves too. We're the lower class, low paid slaves. Wake up. Um, But I, I ain't going to talk too long. I have a video up. Either way, no matter who wins, it's going to be some craziness tonight. I, I don't know why I got that feeling, too. Like, if Chicago loses, it's going to be a whole bunch of outraged fans tearing shit up. If they win, it might be a whole bunch of outraged fans tearing shit up. So be looking for that after the World Series. Be looking to see who's going to go on a crazy spree. Be looking for that. And sorry this video got so long. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Like my video, comment, share your thoughts. Always appreciate it. I'll see y'all guys later when I come back with the um, review. Peace out.